30 Minutes of Umoria, show 102. Hello there. Welcome to 30 Minutes of Umoria. Let's get going. This is our roguelike exploration of the deep of Moria. This, the 102nd show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter Y. The lowercase letter Y represents five different creatures in Umoria, and they are all yeeks of one kind or another. One such yeek is the clear yeek. The clear little yeek is usually found at depths of 450 feet and moves at a normal speed. It has an armor rating of 24 and a life rating of 3 die 6. The clear yeek can move invisibly and open doors. It is susceptible to frost and fire. It is fairly observant of intruders, which it may notice from 180 feet away. The clear yeek may sometimes carry an object or treasure. It can hit to attack with damage 1 die 5. The clear yeek. Before we get started, let's check out the Wheel Source Code! Okay, okay, let's look at some source code. Spin the wheel where she stops. Right there, spell chance. Spell chance. Hmm. In MISC 3, 22 lines long. What could this be all about? Return spell chance of failure for spell. So this is our, the player's spell chance. So we have all these spells, and some of them are harder to cast than others. Okay, so we give the index of the spell, spell number one, say. Um, and it's either um, a, you gotta look up the player class. So let's say it's a mage. And it's spell number one for a mage. We look up the chance of that failing. The spell pointer has a fail. And then this is a bit of a spoiler here. But uh, we take our player level into account. And the spell's level. And we come up with a chance. Now, which stat is important? The uh, Are we a mage or are we not a mage? Are we a priest? It's, it's going to be uh, intelligence or wisdom. Anyway, uh, somehow that must come into it. Right there, that's where it comes into it. Our chance gets uh, subtracted from by a certain amount. And eventually, well, we don't even do the roll. We're just checking out, uh, out of between 1 and 100 what our chances are. Hmm. Cool. So, yeah, I guess that's a spoiler function for sure. So, yeah, you don't really want to be casting spells with a high fail rate. Although we do seem to cast, uh, we have cast, identify a lot, and that, that fails. Or recharge fails, or so on and so forth. So, where's it used? Right there, spell chance, spell chance, spell chance. All over the place, really. Maybe even outside of this function. Nope, just inside Miss 3. It could be static. So it's inside print spells, when you want to print out the spell chance, that makes sense. It's inside get spell. I'm not sure what that does exactly. And it's inside get spell, so it's there twice. So that is the, the spell chance function of misc3.c in the Umoria sources. Now you'll know a little bit more about how that goes about being calculated. And that concludes the Wheel of Source Code. There is your title screen. You Moria 5.6 is free software. Not like the old Moria. Alright, here we go. Here are, here's our character. His name is Yishad. His stats are doing very well. We're at level 35 of experience. We're at 1950 of 
of uh, the dungeon. Now, when we last left here, I believe there were some monsters nearby that we didn't want to have anything to do with. Down here. Yes, that thing, <laughs> that capital D down there, is an ancient multi-hued. We do not want to deal with ancient multi-hued dragons because they can kill us instantly with a single breath. So we'll just avoid them entirely. That's the plan. I think he's awake too. That's a problem. As much as I'd like to get the stuff in that room, it's just not worth it. So we will leave him alone and go this way. Hopefully he won't wake up and follow us out. That door is broken. See that, folks? The ancient multi-hued is following us. That is indeed scary. He might have even had us in his line of sight at one point. So if we go down from here, he'll go down and we might meet. The best thing to do at this point is to leave this level. But we don't want to go near him. <laughs> There's the upstairs at the south. But if we go down toward it, he will go down toward it as well. The only thing that would stop him is a wand of wall building. That is bad. Let's just go down. We'll see what happens here. Is he following? Not yet. Yeah, he's following us now. Wow. Yeah, this is too scary. We're going to come around that corner and he is too. Yep, we must run, folks. We are now in danger. Ah, hands are sweating. I'm going to teleport. All right, we are away from that madness. Let's see what else this level has. Kill a slicer, beetle. We have another capital D over here. How bad is he? We'll investigate far enough to find out, and might have to turn around again. Ancient Black. So our plan for Ancient Blacks... Ooh, we have another one. What's that? We definitely don't want to be fighting a dragon, Ancient Dragon, and have another one come in. Definitely don't want that. What we can do is wear our annual resist acid temporarily. Now we have double resistance against the ancient black. Oh, I don't even want to cross the... There you go, we're past it. We're going to have to remember that he is there. He's on the same level as uh, that wall. All right, we don't want him to come forward. All right. So now we're gonna keep a very close eye on our hit points, of course, but we're also gonna watch for that open doorway to the north. Maybe all this noise is waking him up. So every time we have to check two things. We have to check our hit points and that doorway. Ah, it's pretty good. Good system with the extra amulet. We're at 181. No dragon, no extra dragons appearing. Oh, 
All right, this should be about it. We're going to get him any second now. Ooh, breathe acid. Look at that. He's hurt. We got him. Switching back. Rest up. So for kicks, is it worth it to go check out that dragon? How do you, how do we do this? We're faster than him. How can we use that to our advantage? He hasn't moved. Ooh, what was that? He is moved. <laughs> now we're going to get to find out what he is. Oi, here we go. You ready? Ancient Red. We can handle Ancient Red. This is good. So we're going to give him a cold ball. Oops. Bam. There's one cold ball. There's two cold balls. There's three. Here comes four. And five. He might be dead by the time he reaches us. Six. We already, oh, we don't have our weapon in hand. So let's hit him with another cold ball. Phase door away. Switch weapons. Door is broken. And we want to get him right out in the middle here and hit him hard. He's going to drop a lot of good stuff. 180, 172, 147. He is really putting up a fight. There. Where is slow digestion? Switch to Holy Avenger. What did he give us? A foil? Some bolts? A battle axe, holy chant scroll, and a scroll of genocide. Well, let's check that battle axe. Just battle axe, let's check the foil. Just the foil. Um, genocide scroll is not bad. But now, we can enter this room. It is no longer off limits. Ooh, what did he drop? Scale mail and metal brigandine armor. Not resistant. Looks like we're just going to go north here. Ah, let's change our mind. We're going to go this way. That's called a crazy Ivan right there. All right. Still no monsters nearby. Flip the page, Earth Elemental, nobody home down here. Wow, that was quick. Click the run. Now we can go north. Now that that is cleared. No 
monsters nearby. Big empty room. Maybe we'll have some stuff in one of these. No, no stuff. Now we go north. Not a bad spear, but it isn't good enough to take on the Balrog with. Yes, we would keep a slay evil weapon just for that. If, if it had better uh, characteristics than our Holy Avenger. So it's nice to find that cool stuff. No monsters on the radar. Flip the page and we'll search again here. We have a monster on the radar, folks. Is he moving? Let's back up and check again. He doesn't appear to be moving. But as usual, we have a hard time identifying what he is. Ancient Black. We're going to wear our Resist Acid amulet and we're going to go after him. But first, we're going to go around the corner. Now that we know what he is, I want to identify this room up here. I want to pull him into this room. Just hit him with a, uh, a fire bolt. That should wake him up. I'm waiting on the spot. He's going to appear around this corner. There he is. Ta-da! <laughs> Here I am. Hit him with fireball. And you know what? We were done. We didn't switch to uh, the Holy Avenger. We didn't switch to the Slay Dragon in time. Ugh. 2.30. Watching the doorways for monsters showing up. 205, 186, 179, 156. Let's pull back there. Pull back uh, one more. We'll go to our left. I'll go this way. Yeah. There. We got him. Wear the ammo to slow digestion. Switch to Holy Avenger. Potion of Charisma, we can use that. One Firebolt, no thanks. A couple of rings. Ammo of Charisma and some gold. How about them apples, folks? How about them apples? Now, that means this board is done. Um, we did not find another upstair. And there's no way we're going down deeper right now. So we're going to have to go up to the town. It has to be done. That's either that or face off with an ancient multi-new dragon that is awake. That ain't on. That ain't on. All right. Here we go, back up to town. We're back. Restore life levels, they don't have any. That's too bad. They have lightning balls here though, that's pretty good. Let's see what else they have. Nothing special there. And how about this spot? Nothing special here. Darn it. 
Change weapon to hit. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I don't like dropping things on the first level. I have to say. I don't like it at all. So what can you get rid of? Let's go sell our... Um, we're going to sell the wand of fireballs. That's what we're going to do. And boy, is he going to pay a lot for it. There you go. That is the most expensive thing in the store now. All right. Enchant weapon to hit. That's what we want. Didn't work. How about enchant armor? I hope he has 10 of them. Only four. Oh, our, our AC is up to 54. What's the worst thing we have here? The, the gloves are uh, perilously low in AC. Perilously. Um, yeah. Perhaps the next time we buy some enchant armor scrolls, we will take off all the other stuff. And then it will focus on those gloves. It's not a bad idea. All right, now what? Um, how's our fuel and food? Very good. Very good. And we are off, back down to 1950, folks. Wait a minute, is that cloak? They have a better cloak than we have. We can't even... Uh... Oh yeah, we have a spot for it. Sell our old cloak for 62 gold pieces. There you go. Now, did I already read the uh, scroll of word, of word of Recall? Yes. And here we are, back in 1950, right in the middle of the dungeon. First things first, let's get to the outer edge. We know from the last time, it's kind of important to locate the, uh, the upstairs. What is it? Mature black. Wear resist acid. Switch to Slay Dragon. Anybody else around? No, sir. Wow. He hit us early with his acid attack. But it only hit us for 30 because we had double. Okay, I'm going to back up. There we go. Where that? Let's look at that. Switch back. What are with all these wand of trapdoor destructions? Wow. Dislike. Lead filled mace. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Compare 10 plus 10 plus 9 to 3 die 3, 3 die 4 plus 13 plus 7. We gotta hang on to that. Simple as that. 
That weapon, ladies and gentlemen, is a better weapon against the Balrog. So minimum three die four. Well, it has a has a lower minimum, <laughs> but we hit him more often. Look at that plus thirteen. That is ridiculous. We're gonna hang on to it, folks. Yes, sir. Hit him with a couple cold balls there. No monsters around. What are we going to find? We want to go the other direction. We want to keep going west. Left on the screen. There we go. No monsters. See one monster. I see a few more monsters, one dragon. Look at that, it's taking us in the wrong direction. get this dragon out of the way. Oh, he's got a he's got an older brother around. Look at that. Mature green. Again, we don't have you know what? Resistance to poison gas. I'm waiting at the corner here for him to come around. That's better. Now when he says, when it makes us afraid like that, that is actually a bad thing because we can't hit him with our weapon. All right, the dragon still seems to be asleep. Ancient black. All right, we're gonna go through the same set of steps here. Walk right up to him, give him a fireball. One. So about after 10 hits or so, we're going to back up and he's going to spread out his stuff for us. Okay, 202, we're watching the doorways here, people. This big conflagration of the, you know, the sound we must be making is waking up other things. 161. Disenchanter mold is having its way with us here. All right, we're gonna back it up. Back it up one more, one more. Here we go. Bam. 106. Bam. 93. Bam. Got him. Ugh. Disenchanter mold. You're gonna get it. There you go. Switch to Holy Avenger, wear slow digestion. Probably should have done that on the Slay Evil weapon. Ring of Dexterity, Diamond Ring. Huh, that's our first Lordly Protection Cold. Nice. Like to find the new stuff, it's great. Well, we might as well take the bottom corner.
There are no dragons. There you go. Now we go north. No monsters. Trapdoor destruction. Fell into a pit. Oh, I've fallen through a lot of levels that way. So there's that. Now we're going to go across the bottom of the map. If we can, if it takes us there. Ninja. Not much here to be concerned about. Except for that. What did he get? He got our slay evil item. <laughs> the bastard. Ugh. Well, what do you do? That is the problem with uh, leaving stuff like that in your pack. You feel weaker. Eat. Mushroom of restoration. Laminated armor. Metal cap. Let's go metal cap. No good. Get the troll. Wand of wonder. Ugh. There we go. We'll keep that one. So, there is that. If we want to go farther east, it means going a little north. No monsters to be seen. If we got a capital V, he can send us back up to the town pretty quickly. He's not awake. Vampire. Pretty weak. Mushroom restoration. Nice. All right. Look. So we're at 644 experience. Which doesn't really matter. But what do you do? You're gone into the middle here, folks. And there's nothing there. Doo -doo. This way. No monsters. That means we have five minutes left. eat another one of those. You gotta be aware of these uh, killer red beetles. How's our experience? Doing good.
No monsters. Except for that one. Alright, let's keep going. Let's do this raid first. No monsters. No stuff. Strange how those things go together. No monsters, no stuff. Summon undead, slow digestion. No monsters. Clean this area up. Like so. Safe room with the wand in it. Disarming. Don't like the wand of disarming. Mostly because I never really understood it. Young Blue. Let's go to town, folks. One. Two. Two shots. Whoa, what's he? Sure red. Ready? Let's do a trick here. Watch the hit points. Don't get carried away. Your door burst open. Look out. Just a bat. So, Haste Monsters, Longsword. Oh, look at that longsword, folks. Wow. You know what? We're going to have to consider that. So, we have a 3 die 3, minimum of 3, maximum of 9, plus 10, plus 9. And this is a minimum of 1, maximum of 10, plus 5, plus 11, plus 4 to strength. <sighs> what do you think? I don't know. I can't believe we found another Holy Avenger. Anyway, we're gonna, we'll leave it, leave it right there for this time. And uh, we're really just about done clearing out this level, but we'll finish it up in the next show. Finding great stuff. Another, a second Holy Avenger. Can you believe it? I can't. This is great. You know you're at a deep depth when you're finding Holy Avengers. All right. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your game. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.